This robot is being taught how to taste scrambled eggs. Robot chefs are becoming more commonplace in the kitchen, preparing everything from pizza to paella. But when it comes to sampling food, they still must defer to their human counterparts. Until now. Engineers from the University of Cambridge are developing robots that can taste as they cook and decide if a dish needs more seasoning. At a lab in Cambridge, this robotic arm is probing a plate of scrambled eggs and tomatoes with a sensor to detect saltiness. The arm is repeatedly sampling the food in different places until a comprehensive taste map is created by the robot's computer. The food is blended into various consistencies to simulate different stages of the chewing process. Shegor Zorhatsky is the study's first author. The sensor is based on conductance, so it reacts to things like salinity, but it also reacts to things like humidity and consistency of the food. And even though it's just one channel sensing, when we take a lot of samples to get an image of a food and then we kind of simulate mm, chewing mm, by, by mechanically processing the food, we can almost get a video of how the food reacts uh, to chewing. The team says that by imitating the human processes of chewing and tasting, robots will eventually be able to produce foods that humans will enjoy and that could be tweaked according to individual tastes. The huge advantage of robotic taste is that it's objective. It will be always the same. So we have no effect by mood or by personal preference. And it will always remember all the dishes it tasted before. While we would try to taste a lot of dishes, it would be hard for us to compare the current dish to the dish 10 dishes behind. Researchers say the taste-as-you-go method significantly improved the robot's ability to quickly and accurately assess the saltiness of the dish and is better than other electronic tasting technologies. They hope the research will help develop more advanced automated or semi-automated food preparation as robots learn what tastes good and what doesn't. Professor Fumia Ida runs Cambridge's bio-inspired robotics laboratory. There are lots and lots of researchers in the world working on robotic cook uh, and many, many applications develop, but most of them actually don't have sensors. So they do blindly cooking um, food without really knowing what the tastes are. But for sure, uh, we will have something interesting because robot can now have access to the taste perception and that will uh, give a feedback to their way of cooking or what they can serve to, uh, to, uh, to human beings.